Okay, in this video we're going to be looking at how we could be given a rule that generates a sequence when we're given a starting number. So I've given you the starting number 3, so I've just come up with that number, okay? It's not coming from anywhere else. So we're given a starting number 3, and we want to find what the next five terms of the sequence would be if the rule was plus 3 times by 2. Okay, so we add 3, then times by 2. Now, I'm going to give, say, pause the video, have a go, and see if you can get what the answer is. So, assuming that you've done that, okay, um, let's see how we got on. Now, I can imagine that you may have got this wrong if you have put in each time 3 plus 3 times 2. Okay? If you plug that immediately into your calculator, like so, 3 plus 3 times 2, then you should get 9. But the next term is not 9. The reason being is that we're adding 3, then times it by 2. Okay? And that's what we want to get through. Add 3, then times by 2. The calculator will use big mass and do the multiplication first. But actually, what you want to do is do the addition first. That's why you could use brackets, and then multiply by 2. So add 3 is 6, times by 2 is 12. Add 3 is 15, times by 2 is 30. Add 3 is 33, times by 2 is 66. Add 3 is 69, times by 2, sorry I'm starting to lose count, is 138. Then add 3, and then times by 2, is 282. Okay? So in actual fact, it's a case of making sure you know what the question is asking with this, and making sure you interpret bid mass correctly. So if it says add 3 then times by 2, um, so it might have said it in words rather than in symbols to make sure that that confusion is kept to a minimum. Add 3 then multiply by 2, but it's still that you could have made the error of plugging it straight into your calculator like so. Okay? So be aware of this. Do the 3 plus 3 first, press equals, and then multiply by 2. And then keep going. 